So I got the car. Uh, well, my I grew up with stories of my dad. He he had a chop Merc. I showed you that picture. It was real mild, like it was a little bit lowered. All everything was shaved. It was chopped like two inches. You can almost it didn't even look very chopped. You know what I mean? But he loved the car, I could tell he loved it. And uh, so I grew up like listening to him to always tell stories about his Merc. So I think that's part of what got me interested in Mercuries, you know, and, and uh, I just kind of always wanted one, you know what I mean? I, I, I had an old truck when I was young and I loved that truck, but I always wanted, like getting the Mercury was like the dream. So anyway, when I was 19 years old, I finally tracked one down and uh, it was up in Idaho Falls and went up there and bought it from a guy named Roger Littleford and he had picked it up in a, uh, a field out in the middle of nowhere and um, bought it from him. It was a lot of money at the time but I knew I had to have it, you know. And uh, I was 19, you know, I was in college and I was in college for the next like eight years so I would just work on it a little bit at a time, you know, whenever I got the money or could, you know, do the work myself. Uh, I would do that and um, you know as these projects do they tend to get drawn longer than you, you really want them to but you know just collecting pieces here and there and people will help me all that stuff and and finally about a couple years ago I just said you know we got to get it done uh, no matter what <laughs> you know we didn't have the money we're trying to run our own business so it's not like we have a lot of disposable income you know but we just decided, you know, we got to get it done. You're like, it's an investment. You know, these old cars are investment. And also when you're an artist, it's kind of part of the persona. You know, it's part of the whole, the whole image is being this artist is you have this certain car, you know. And, and uh, when we decided to paint it, uh, we decided to go kind of with like a, a military green a little bit. Like it was, you know, implies that. It's more of like an avocado green. It's not a real drab green, but it kind of has that military vibe that like my artwork does. And uh, so that's why we painted what we do, did. It's the entire car is like actually, I call it a, a custom car with the heart of a muscle car. And um, because the entire chassis is all GTO, it's uh, it's got all GTO frame, everything and we modified the GTO frame, lengthened it like, I think it was 10 inches, I think. And, you know, just chopped some parts around. So now we have power steering, power brakes, all that stuff, and it's all super easy parts to get to. Uh, it's out of a 72 uh, GTO, so uh, pretty standard stuff. And uh, that's it, just a real cheapo, like, Mexican upholstery job from a guy in Paris. Uh, Paris, California, and um, I think that's about it. My buddy Ghost did the the artwork on the the glove box, burning the candle at both ends always. And uh, Mike and honey, who did our dash? Yeah, Mike and uh, Mike Goins and uh, Rick. Could kick my ass for forgot his name. Good friend of mine. I don't know. I, I swear, when you fuck up your ear, like I, it affects your brain. Like I cannot think of things. As I know. Like <laughs> Everything's all messed up. Is this a flying toaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but yeah. So uh, Mike Goins and Rick O'Connor from Old Speed Hot Rods are the ones that put together the dash. And then you know it's a bolt in once the dash was done. And I wanted to do like this battleship gray. You know, just everything kind of military, not over the top, like stars and, you know, skulls and all that crap on everything. Nothing, even though I have a skull right there, but, uh, you know, wanted to be military-esque, but not, like, too much, you know? Subtle. Yeah, I want to be more subtle. Yeah, it's nice. Just simple. Like I said, I mean, the car is, like, it's meant to be driven. It's definitely not perfect, as you can see. It's got a ton of flaws, but I don't think I'd want a show car, you know, honestly. Like, show cars, they kind of... I don't know, you know, it's like, I don't know, too pretty or something. come out of your garage. 
Yeah, exactly, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm afraid to get a rock, rock chip, like, we're not afraid to drive this anywhere, we take it all over the place, we drive it at the supermarket, we're always driving it around, as you can see as I went over that speed bump at, like, 90, <laughs> we're not that, you know, I mean, we don't intentionally beat it, like, we take care of it, but, you know, we don't baby it or anything like that, so, I think that's it with the car.